You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Item provided by Maya Toys for review. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Super excited to check out the Orbeez Crush Crush and Draw set for ages 5+. plus. Thank you to Maya Toys for sending me this set to check out on video. It includes the Magic Crush pen, which is motorized to use the pen to fill in the stencils with your crushed Orbeez. But, excited to announce, I have been growing my 1800 Orbeez to make them glow in the dark. And if you want to check out that video, I'll have a link there in the description so you can learn how I did it. Let me turn this around. Let's see. More fun ways to crush and create. I did the Sweet Treat Studio in another video as well, so I'll have a link for that. It says it comes with two nozzle sizes, three themes, fashion, dance, and undersea, and this reusable drawing mat. So you probably put the stencil down, do your drawing, and then you could easily clean it off later and redo. And then here's the crusher, which we used in a, another video. And then it looks like these are some of the stencils I will see. So I want to check it out now. Let me just get out of the box while I'm with you. It's not often I actually do the whole unboxing, but let's see. I did have to take my Orbeez out, so the tape is off, and I could easily just open it up with you and show you the inside. I have not used it or tried it in any way. Okay. I don't even have batteries yet, so it's just a matter of getting it out of the packaging here. Instructions, I feel, down there. This looks like it comes off, but we'll have to learn there. Because it looks like my stencils are stored in there. And here is this. Now I'm going to get a couple things that I know I'm going to need. One, I'm going to need... Oh, it looks like you have a couple crushing options there for a couple colors. Here's tip one. Let's see, does it just unscrew? It does. Tip two. Looks like you can replace this cartridge, put in your other color with this little button here. And I'm learning here, so it's something I'll have to research a little. All right, so I'll need to get a battery, it looks like. And if I don't, then I'll let you know. I didn't read the box. Did you read the box? Did it say battery included? Okay. And then here's all the different stencils. Okay, let's see. I wanna see something. All right, so you can do multiple things on them. You can probably fit more than one, maybe. Maybe not. Ah, you can. So you can fit him and the ballet shoes or do one big picture like this. So my question is, do the little pegs, do they need to be on? Or can they fit in between? It looks like they go on. So once you set one, then the rest will set in its place. All right. Enough guessing. Let me check here. Maybe it says batteries included. I don't know. It doesn't, it doesn't say. All right, let me get my batteries. And then I will come back and then I will learn a little bit more. Get a bowl of water because I've learned it's easier to rinse and clean everything out that way. And then we'll come back and then we'll officially get started. All right, got everything set up so we can check it out one more time. I am not going to do these. I won't do the seahorse, the ballet shoes. This girl with the purse, or the mermaid, or the shoes, I'm going to do this one here. Okay, so it probably can go this way or this way. I'm not sure exactly, but I'm going to do it that way because this has a little handle on it that you can use to keep it upright. Maybe also carry it, but I think for me this angle works out pretty good. And then this was two AAA batteries in there, two AAAs. This is the one to go forward, so you're actually holding it like a pen and pressing this. And it's pushing out your Orby, squishing them out. And this is your reverse. Alright, you get the two tips, and then you get two tubes. So now you're going to actually crush them in this, but you're going to use this to protect your hand. So you'll go squish them down, take this out, pull this here, and then stick it back in. And then that's going to go through the tube on the inside now, push them out. So they're basically gonna get chopped up twice. So you're kinda double grinding them in a way. All right, and this kinda looks like it helps push it out. There's a little P 
piece in there that pushes the tube off the end. So basically we want to fill these. So I'm going to bring in a little filler. And yes, these Orbeez I started growing a while ago. They are glow in the dark. So we're going to see how that works. It's a test. So let me fill a tube. Now this is my own little scoop. They don't provide it. So I'll put about that much in that one. And then let's grab some purple. Maybe I'll put a little less in this one and see how they both squish out. Okay. Now the squishing part from previous videos, one of my favorite parts. Now this should go on here. And then when I squish this, it should fill up this other tube now. There we go. Perfect. Okay, in the last video you will see, I took this now and I just rinsed it in a bowl of water. I ended up with some really cool water, so I might have some glowing water when I'm done here. Okay, so now I can crush more. I didn't need to rinse it actually. Let me crush a little more. They crush just as good as Orbeez grown in regular water. These were grown in tonic water. Yes, that's what I used for my cool effect. Let's see. Nice. That is jam-packed. Okay. And let me get a second color ready so I can just draw right away. Ooh, it's falling out. Let me set that in there. And you will need towels and stuff to clean. Here we go, crush. That's very satisfying for some reason. I know when I first started playing with Arby's, I was trying to keep them from being crushed. But the temptation was to squish them. And now it's all part of this squishing kit. Okay, so those are ready for the next colors. Let's bring this in. Let's get this one in here. Let me uh, wipe this top real quick. And then uh, I will start. Here we go. Let's do our first official test. I'll give you a couple angles, but we'll see how this goes. This one's jam-packed. And I'll put the big tip on first just to see how it extracts out. And then it does say to fill, and then you have to push it down with your fingers. And you do have to stop the tool. So let me just do some of this bigger outer section here and see what we get here. Oh, it's kind of neat. Look at that. That works really good. Okay. That was that whole bit. Now I'm not going to use my fingers. Why? Because I think I want something that's plastic and won't stick as much, but I'll try it either way. Look at that. So now that whole tube is empty. I did that whole section. So now I can get an idea. Let me do a little switcheroo here. So we'll use this to push it out a little so you can grab it. That's handy. Let's just rinse that off. Let's rinse this out. Now I'm doing this rinsing. Uh, they don't show it anywhere in their instructions that I remember. So remember now this goes in this way so that it can extract. Oh, got to bring it back. That's right. Chugga lugga, chugga lugga. That worked good. Okay. And let's do the fine tip now and see how that works. Let's come back now. Let's do, there's a lot of fine stuff here. Let's do one of these here and see. There we go. That works really good. Just don't forget to let up on it. Okay. And then do your pushing and your pressing. Now there's a tiny bit left, so let me fill in a couple other spots. Now basically I'm just going to randomly fill. Okay. And then I'll change colors out for you. And maybe a little bit more. Oops, sorry, wrong button. That was it. Alright, so see? It's kind of filling down into these pegs down in that area. Let's just keep switching colors so I can try all the colors because that's the whole 
fun of glowing. Now look at all that that's still in there. It's rinsed out. Let me rinse this one. Okay. And then rinse that. Let's get that tube out. That's neat the way you just push that. Rinse this. Okay. Two new colors. Let's do this back one here, this green. And then let's do an orange. It would be cool to kind of see the glowing, but I'd have to stop to see how it's working. Okay. Remember, put this on here, protects your hand. Crush. And then fill. That's a cool kit. Okay. That one's set. And then let's get this one in. Put this one straight in the tool. Make sure this is back. That's one thing I'm forgetting now. But well, we can kind of see how that hooks onto that. Let's go back to the fine tip. And let's just put some more color down here. How about we get a little camera angle change, huh? So maybe you can kind of see it squishing in the areas. Strange angle, but maybe it'll work. Here we go. I'll stay out. Here, I'll do this outer section. Oh no, I want it to detail. Still plenty in there. See how it's kind of going down in that little uh, pegged area? Alright, that looks good. Let me just do it up here so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. Okay, so that was all of that. Don't go away. I'm going to change tips now and put some orange down on that. And we're going to return it back. So you see it's gonna, it is going to take some time. That's for sure. Let me do this bottom section all in the orange so you can kind of see it. Okay. There, that's where we're at so far. If you don't mind, I'm just going to keep going here. I'm not going to stop the camera. I have a feeling it's going to be another one of those LPS Dave long videos. All right, so two new colors. Let's bring in the yellow. comes in handy a little scoop like that and then this particular little blue I haven't done Ooh, now let's see what happens when you overfill it like that okay learning curve okay don't overfill the tube look how solid it looks when they're all crushed doesn't it look like you can't even see them in there but they're there oh that's cool did you see that Yeah, that's almost maxed out. Let me squeeze a few more of them in here. Ah, 
that's the best sound. All right, and then, so we've got orange, we've gotten purple, we've got the yellow now. I didn't rinse, see, there's a little bit of blue in there, but we'll leave it. Now look at that. It looks like they're a solid color, and then when you let them go, then squish them. Let's get a side view of that. How's that? Cool. All right, let's put some more color down. I'm gonna keep the fine tip on. Let's see if we can get her all filled in here. I was a little far away. There you go. And then let me get a little more up here. Ooh, I'm pressing too soon. I'm not sure I like that angle I'm using it. All right, let's fill in this here, see if we can switch tips. This might be a good time to clean up and come back. Let's use the rest down here. Okay. I'm just get I guess I'm just making it as colorful as possible. That's the one thing I guess I'm forgetting is to just always try to bring it back as soon as you're done. So it fills up the space quicker. All right, let's do a completely different camera angle. Top down a little bit more. And I'll fill in all this. Nice. All right, let me rinse everything. Wipe off my, well, yeah, let me clean up. Just because I feel like it's all over my hands and I wanna straighten up a little bit because we're getting close to the end, so I will be right back. I wanted to shock you a little bit. I thought it'd be cool to come back so you could actually see it glowing. Now I wanted to show you regular Orbeez. Look at them in the light, they do not change. Now here's the same color Orby that glows. I'll put them in here so you can kind of see the difference. See the difference between the two? I know there's a lot going on, but there, is that better? Glowing, not glowing. So that's why this is all actually glowing the way it is. It wouldn't glow otherwise. All right, so everything's been cleaned. Now we're gonna squish glow in the dark. Here we go. So let's take our two tubes and then let me add some uh, more yellow. I'm gonna fill the rest of this in with the yellow. The yellow really glows nice. Now, if this is not directly in the black light, it won't glow as good. And then let's get some more, you know, like one of these, uh, well, let me do some more of the purple. I'll put some purple inside. Okay. Yellow. Now in the light, it should glow better, but... And now this purple, I think I can put more in there. Okay, now let's go back to the board. I'll do the yellow first. This glows really nice too.
Okay, I'm gonna do the fine tip. Actually, you know what? No, I gotta fill the outside. I'm gonna do the the bigger tip and work in this area down here to fill the rest of this in. That's nice. Now I did do a little tapping down before I came back just to kind of clean up some of the stuff that I did on camera. Okay, and then there is a little bit, almost no yellow left, so I should be able to just squirt out the rest. That's it. Okay. Switch the tubes, bring this back, pull this up. See how it wants to grab it back in with the suction? All right, let's do that upper part of her wing. I think that needs to be done. Oop, I didn't put it on enough. I thought I had it enough. Hold on. Okay, there. I guess I'm working in the dark. I'm not paying attention. Okay, that fills in all of that now. Get a little bit in those ballet shoes. I'm gonna make this a little thicker here. All right, I think I need to just do a little bit more. Okay, let me rinse some things out, retract this. I think I'll just do a little bit more. I think we're, at least we got a good idea what's going on here. Let's squish some more. I mean, that's the, that's the coolest thing, the squishing. Okay, I'm trying to rinse everything out. All right, here we go, squishing. Let's get a little bit more orange. Okay. I wish I can show you the squishing with more light on it. I'd have to hold it way up here to kind of show it to you. It still seems to me it's just dark because it's so compacted. And then let's bring in one of those blues. What if I change one setting on my camera? Hold on a second. Sometimes if I go to auto exposure, it changes just a little. Did that change? I think it did. Can't tell if it's for the good or for the bad. I don't know. Let's see, does it look better down here? Maybe. Okay. I want to put some orange on my palette here. Thin tip, make sure it's screwed on all the way. I'll fill in everything else that's not filled in on her. I'm not too worried about going out of the lines because you can just squish it around. Okay, and then let me... I think I got that. I'll just fill in this outside, which isn't filled. Kind of make everything fill. And then let me switch to this blue and fill in the rest there, and I think we got it. Retract.
a bigger tip. Let's see if I can give you a nicer shot this way now. Here we go. Tip on. I'm mixing colors here, but I'm just kind of making sure I bring this up a little. Okay. I think I got it. There's my art piece. So I will zoom into that so you can just see it glowing. Let me see if I adjust the angle or anything that makes a difference. Not really. I think you get the idea as it glows. And then I'll come back to light to clean up. But I would say that's pretty cool, huh? Let me do this though. Let me bring in my water here. Let's see if that's glowing at all. Ooh, look at that. Let's just squish the rest out. Get a little bit in there. Now let me do that again with the rest of the orange. I mean, I think that to me could be fun too, just squishing this out. Let me put the small tip on. Now watch this. That is cool. Let me do that one more time. Let me squish some of the yellow. I'm not gonna worry about my too much. Retract this, take this off. Let's squish this down. Let's see, squish. Nice. Who doesn't like a good squish once in a while? I'm gonna max it out. Okay, last time, then I'll clean up and come back, but it's kind of kind of like a bonus uh, bonus play time with this toy. I'm always looking for multiple uses, so you can just totally break away from the actual this here and do this look at this as it's glowing pretty cool huh here we go how neat is that There you go. I'm going to clean up, come back, and then we'll look at it in the light. We've seen it glowing in the dark, so I won't have to come back to do that. That looks pretty cool. And I'll be right back. All right, there we go. Now, I was reading the instructions. You could actually turn it this way with that easel stand. It should stay like that if you wanted to do that. So it can go either way. And then uh, clean up is real easy. Just rinse it out in water. Remember, don't put anything down the drain. You don't want to put any, especially the large Orbeez, they don't want. The little pieces might be okay, but it's always best here if you take, you know, I was just about to do it. Take a little strainer like this and then pour it in, and that should capture most of them. And it's also squishy fun to play with. Look at that. So this is the leftovers you can actually probably use that if you want to do something with that and then just throw that in the garbage so that you now you have the water to go down the drain like that so i'm going to say overall it worked great simple to use just remember those few things and uh, you know i think i like it glow in the dark i think that's pretty cool so if you want to look at that video where i show you how to make them then go in that description there will be a link there to that video and then the other dessert set i'll put a link down there for you as well and thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking around through the whole video. I really appreciate it. And if you want to see more videos in the fun toy series like this, I'll also have a playlist link there. And thanks for supporting Lucky Penny Shop. Later! If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop.
And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up. Thanks for watching.